welcome back to my channel! Want to unlock the secret to killer bass lines and solos without drowning in scales? In just a few minutes you'll know how to jam like a pro. Today we are diving into one of the most essential tools in a bass player's toolkit – the pentatonic scale. You can use it in any styles of music, it's truly universal. So let's break it down and get you playing. What exactly is the pentatonic scale? The name pentatonic came from penta meaning five and tonic meaning tones. So it's a five note scale that is super versatile and that sounds great in any genre of music. There are two main types, major pentatonic and minor pentatonic. I'll start with the minor one. The minor pentatonic is based on the minor scale, but it skips a couple of notes. It skips the note number two, takes three, four, five, it skips the six and it takes flat seven. It looks like this. This is my A minor scale, A minor because I started with the root tone A here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is one again, you know, it's an octave. And for the minor pentatonic, I skip the notes two and six, and it looks like this. One, three, four, five, seven, and one. This is what it looks like on paper. One, three, four, five, seven, and eight, which is one. This is an octave. I'll play it again in a slow tempo for you to follow. One, three, four, five, seven, and eight, which is one. In a fast tempo, it looks like this. Remember about the positional playing. If you learn it in one position, you can play it everywhere on the fretboard, even starting on a different string. Next up is the major pentatonic scale, which is just as important. It is built using the first, second, third, fifth and sixth notes of the major scale. Just recently I published a video about how to play the major scale, you can check it out. As a reduction of a major scale, the major pentatonic scale looks like this. I'll start with the note C, so this is the C major pentatonic scale. One, two, three, five, six, and one for octave. And now, ta-da, a drum roll. There is a trick. The notes I just played were C, D, E, G, and A. And now I'm going to show you another position and play the same notes. I'm going to find my C on the string E with my pinky. This is C. C, D, E, G, A. Doesn't it look familiar to something we just covered for the minor pentatonic scale? Actually, this is exactly the same pentatonic fingering we just learned. But now we are starting here and the tone which was 3 for the minor pentatonic scale becomes number 1 for the major pentatonic scale and we go 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6 and we have an octave for 6. So it is the same scale but starting on a different tone. It means that you can use the same fingering for the major and minor pentatonic scale. However, for the minor pentatonic scale, you start with the finger number one. And for the major pentatonic scale, you start with your pinky. These keys, minor and major, are called relative keys, and there are three semitones between them. So here is the minor, here is the major. They are always in pairs. This is A minor and C major, and B minor and D major. C minor and E flat major, you can find these pairs everywhere on the fretboard. So these minors and majors share the same pentatonic scale. Now that you've got the scale down, you can start playing it for a bigger interval than just an octave. For example, this is the G minor pentatonic. It starts from G, it goes up to G, and it can be extended even higher. The fingering is the same. However, for two last notes, you have to jump higher on the fretboard to get it. Altogether, it looks like this. What if you want to start playing your pentatonic on a different string, not on E? Can you go down? 
Of course you can, not a problem. If you want to start playing it on the string A, you go and you can go down. If you start playing it on the string D, on the picture it looks like this. You start with your root tone for the minor pentatonic one, three, four, five. This is the fingering of the basic scale you've learned. And you just extend it down. You play the note just above this once uh, to get the tones five and seven. And here you will play two more tones. For example, if I want to play the A minor pentatonic scale starting uh, on the string D here, the basic fingering will lead me here. But if I want to go down, I play the notes just above these two and pinky and my finger number two are going to take the two rest notes. To get comfortable with the scale, start practicing it slowly, using the metronome. <laughs> I'm setting up my tempo now, and I'll make something like 100 BPM. This is my A minor or C major pentatonic scale, with the metronome. You can vary the pattern jumping through the next note and coming back, like this. One, two, three, four. You also can try playing three notes in a row and coming back, like this. One, two, three, four. When you are comfortable with this, you can gradually increase the tempo to get you more confident. When you are comfortable with the basic scale, you can add some fillings in between the notes. It makes the scale even more interesting. This is the same A minor pentatonic scale. And now I'm going to add some notes between these two and these two. It sounds like this. This is the example of a C major blues. I'm going to make up the bass line using just the pentatonic scale. Uh, I haven't got it prepared, so let's see what will happen. when your chord changes, uh, the root for the pentatonic scale changes as well. For example, for the chord C major, I can play this pentatonic scale starting on C, but later I have the chord F, and this is the root tone for F major pentatonic scale. Later I have a chord G, and this is my root tone for G and back to C. For playing the bass lines, I would recommend you to use the low positions, but for the soloing, it's better to play in higher positions, so that your pentatonic scale will really shine. I love using pentatonic scale for my improvisations in higher positions. You can play any notes from the pentatonic scale and sound great. <laughs> Just don't forget to make phrases and put some rests between them. This is the same C major blues, and now I'm going to improvise a solo uh, using just the pentatonic scale. that works. Simple, but effective. All right, bass players, the pentatonic scale is a must-know for each of us, <laughs> and with a bit of practice you'll be able to play it in no time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more bass tutorials, and drop a comment below if you have a question or video request. Thanks for watching and keep grooving! Mm -hmm.